एवरी वन वेलकम टू डेंटल डाइजेस्ट प्लस टूडेज टॉपिक इज प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ डेंटल मटीरियल सो बिफोर गेटिंग स्टार्टेड लेट मी रिमाइंड यू दैट इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियोज प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेलाइकन सो दैट यू कैन गेट द रेगुलर अपडेट्स फॉर द न्यू वीडियोज सो लेट्स बिगेन द टर्म प्रॉपर्टी इज अ क्वालिटेटिव और क्वान्टिटेटिव मेजर ऑफ रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ मटीरियल to externally imposed conditions like forces and temperatures properties can be categorized into three ways properties of dental material before mixing properties of dental materials during mixing and setting and properties of dental materials after setting properties of dental materials before mixing are shelf life and storage of the dental materials properties of dental materials during mixing and setting are mixing time working time and setting time properties of dental materials after setting are physical properties biological properties chemical properties electrical properties thermal properties and mechanical properties today we are going to learn about the physical properties in details physical properties are based on the laws of mechanics thermodynamics elasticity magnetism radiation atomic structure or nuclear phenomena any processes or restoration undergoes deformation due to various forces of mastication complete knowledge of physical properties of material enhances the effectiveness of processes it enhances the safety limitation and it also increases the chances of processes to last for a longer period of time physical properties of dental material includes optical properties and rheological properties in optical properties we will learn about the color hue value chroma transparency translucency opacity and fluorescence in rheological properties we will learn about viscosity creep and flow viscoelasticity newtonian behavior pseudoplastic behavior thixotrophic behavior and dilatant what is color color is the property possessed by an object of producing different sensations on the eye and it is as a result of the way it reflects the light when a beam of light falls on a surface of an object they either reflects or transmit from the object sensation induced from the light of varying wavelengths will reach an eye and the con cells present in the retina distinguish objects based on the wavelengths of the light they reflect light from an object that reaches an eye is focused in the retina and it is converted into nerve impulses which are transmitted to the brain color selection is very important so important parameters used to define color are hue chroma and value now what is hue hue is the basic color depending on the wavelength it reflects it is the dominant wavelength and it represents the color of material like blue red yellow green etc what is chroma chroma is the degree of saturation of a particular hue it represents the strength of the color or intensity of the color for example if chroma is low it indicates a weak color and if chroma is high it indicates more intense color what is value value is defined as the relative lightness or darkness of a color of an object value of 0 is equal to black and value of 10 is equal to white that means higher the value is equal to lighter the shade of an object and lower the value is equal to darker the shade of an object here you can see the moon cell chart it is developed by professor albert h mulsell here hues are divided into 10 gradations yellow yellow red 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 purple 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 blue 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 green green and green yellow the mulsell color system is a color space that specifies colors based on three properties of color now what is opacity it is the property of a material that prevents the passage of light that means it doesn't allow the light to pass through an object 
what is transparency it is the property of a material that allows the passage of light in such a manner that the object may be clearly seen through this kind of material it is called transparent material what is translucency the property of a material that permits passage of light but disperses the light so the object cannot be seen through this kind of material is called translucent material what is fluorescence fluorescence is the absorption of light by a material and the spontaneous emissions of light in a longer wavelength in a natural tooth it primarily occurs in the dentin because of the higher amount of organic material it makes the teeth bright and vital as it increases the brightness what is metamerism it is the phenomena in which the color of an object under one type of light appears to change when illuminated by different light source in simple words it is the change of color matching of two objects under different light sources different light sources interact differently with different materials daylight lamps and fluorescent lamps are different common sources of light in dental clinic now let's learn about rheological properties the study of flow of a material is called rheology what is viscosity viscosity is the resistance of liquid to flow liquids when placed in motion it resists imposed forces that causes them to move this resistance to motion is called viscosity they are important as they have a major influence on the handling characteristic of a material viscosity is dependent upon the interatomic bonding for example water molecules has weak interatomic bonding thus it flows easily as compared to oil and honey a highly viscous fluid flows slowly viscosity is defined as the shear stress divided by strain rate unit of viscosity is centipose or megapascal per second pure water at 20 degree celsius has a viscosity of 1 centipose now let's see the classification of fluids based on the rheology according to shear stress versus shear strain graph it is classified into four types first is newtonian liquid second is pseudo plastic third is dilatant and fourth is plastic fluid newtonian liquid this liquid exhibit a constant viscosity under all stress conditions it is an ideal fluid in this shear stress is proportional to strain rate only 10% of liquids are newtonian for example water and another example is newly mixed zinc phosphate cement pseudo plastic liquids this liquid exhibit a decrease in viscosity when there is increase in shear rate they are shear thinning fluids and their viscosity decreases with increasing strain rate until it reaches a nearly constant value for example ketchup blood nail polish and in case of dentistry polycarboxylate cement and elastomeric impression material are the examples of the pseudo plastic liquids dilatant liquids this liquid exhibit increase in viscosity with increase in shear rate they are shear thickening fluids and they shows the increase in viscosity with an increase in shear rate this kind of liquids becomes more rigid as the rate of deformation increases for example sand in water and in case of dentistry acrylic denture based material and traditional resin composites plastic liquid this liquid remain rigid until certain yield stress is applied and then it starts to flow the application of this yield stress to cause flow in a plastic material is called bingham characteristic for example ketchup and in case of dentistry composite material what is thixotropicity it's a property exhibited by certain liquids that becomes less viscous and more fluid under repeated applications of pressure if you shear them their viscosity decreases and if it is left undisturbed 
then its viscosity will increase to its pre-stress level. It occurs due to the structural breakdown and reformation. For example, POP, resin cement and dental prophylaxis paste. Impression material starts to flow when it is placed in tissues and the pressure is applied. They don't flow out of the impression tree until they are placed over dental tissues. Prophylaxis paste don't flow out of a rubber cup until it is rotated against the teeth to be cleaned. What is viscoelasticity? It is the behavior of a material that is intermediate between viscous liquid and elastic solid. For example, elastomeric impression materials, polymers like soft relining materials and denture based polymers which exhibit viscoelastic behavior. What is creep? Creep is the time dependent plastic deformation of a material under static load or constant stress near its melting point. There are two types of creep, static and dynamic. Creep that takes place under constant load is called static creep and the creep that takes place under changing load is called dynamic creep. Because of its slow melting range, dental amalgam can slowly creep from a restored tooth site under periodic sustained stress. Creep can be seen into the metal when temperature approaches hundreds of degrees of its melting range. For example, in case of cast restoration. Now let's take a look at the flow. Flow implies a greater deformation produced more rapidly with a smaller applied stress. The term flow is generally been used in dentistry to describe the rheology of amorphous materials such as waxes. How to measure flow and creep? A cylinder of prescribed dimension is subjected to a given compressive stress for a specified time and temperature. Creep or flow is measured as the percentage decreases in the length of a material that occurs under these testing conditions. The term creep implies a relatively small deformation produced by a relatively large stretch over a long period of time, whereas flow implies a greater deformation produced more rapidly with a smaller applied stress. That's all for the physical properties of dental materials. Next time we will learn about the mechanical properties.